Hello everyone, welcome to Infigyan. In this very very exciting video of algebraic challenging equations, here we are going to solve one very interesting factorial equation. Equation is x factorial over x minus 3 factorial plus x plus 2 factorial over x minus 1 factorial equal to 66. Because we have got factorial notation, so we can understand our domain x must be greater than or equal to 0 where x belongs to integer. Done. Now I will write recursive formula. Because that formula is very very important here in this equation solving. So e recursive formula is n factorial. If we are having then we can write any time n times n minus 1 factorial or as per need n times n minus 1 n minus 2 factorial and so on. So I will apply the same in our problem. So let's apply x factorial. So I can write x factorial as x recursive formula x minus 1 x minus 2 x minus 3 factorial done my denominator would be as it is unchanged x minus 3 factorial this is our first term now let's consider the second term x plus 2 factorial i will write x plus 2 as per our denominator it is x minus 1 factorial so we have to move up to x minus 1 factorial using recursive formula x plus 1 x x minus 1 factorial and denominator is x minus 1 factorial rhs is 66 now i will cancel x minus 1 factorial x minus 1 factorial x minus 3 factorial x minus 3 factorial what is left x times x minus 1 times x minus 2 plus x plus 2 times x plus 1 times x equal to 66. Now we have x common. So I can consider x out, x common. Inside the bracket we will have x minus 1, x minus 2 plus x plus 2, x plus 1 equal to 66 let's multiply x would be as it is i will write x square x times minus 2 minus 2x minus 1 times x minus 1x so minus 3x minus 1 times minus 2 plus 2 x square 1x 2x 3x 2 times 1 2 66 minus 3x plus 3x what is left 2x square plus 4 inside the bracket equal to 66 let's take 2 common from the left hand side so i will write x times 2x times x square plus 2 equal to 66 divide both sides by 2 x times x square plus 2 equal to 33 let's expand open this x cube plus 2x equal to 33 simple now take all the term to left x cube plus 2x minus 33 equal to 0 this is one standard cubic equation where x square is not there. But I am thinking differently. I won't use rational root theorem, synthetic division method and otherwise methods also. I am going to split this minus, 20, minus 33 as minus 27 and minus 6. See what will happen. x cube plus 2x minus 27 minus 6 so minus 27 we can write minus 3 whole cube 
and 6 would be as it is. Negative 6 would be as it is negative 6. Now I will club first and third term all together. x cube minus 3 cube. And then we are having 2x minus 6. And RHS is 0. Okay. Now I will use one identity. So I can write my identity formula. That is a cube minus b cube a minus b in one bracket and second bracket a square plus a b plus b square. So let's apply to our equation. So I will write here x minus 3 second bracket a square so x square plus a b. So I will write 3x plus b square that means 3 square 9 so this formula is done okay and here i am going to consider two common out so what is left x minus 3 now you can see x minus 3 is again common so i will take x minus 3 common so what would be left x square plus 3x plus 9 plus 2 equal to 0. So it is already factorized. Now x minus 3 second bracket what we can write x square plus 3x plus 11. Task is almost 90% done. Only need to solve this quadratic equation. So let me write x minus 3 and x square minus 3x plus 11. Both are positive equal to 0. Done. Now from this equation we can conclude either x will be equal to 3 from first bracket and from this quadratic equation we will apply quadratic formula. Let me apply x is equal to minus b. So minus 3 plus minus square root of b square so 9 minus 4ac so 44 divided by 2a so 2 then i can write this will become minus 3 plus minus it will be negative square root of negative 35 35 plus 9 44 correct over 2 so 2 now we know that square root of minus 1 is i so I can write this is one complex or imaginary solution plus minus i square root 35 divided by 2 x. Okay. So there are two complex solution. We are having two complex solution. So it is not accepted as per factorial notation. So I will reject this solution. Okay. So which one is accepted? That is x is equal to 3. Now let's verify this value. So I will write verification. Let me put here x equal to 3. So 3 factorial over 3 minus 3, 0 factorial plus 3 plus 2, 5 factorial, 3 minus 2, 2 factorial. We have to check whether we are having 66 or not. Okay. So 3 factorial is 6, 0 factorial is 1. 5 factorial is 120, 2 factorial is 2. So this is 6 plus 60, that is 66, which is our right hand side. That means x equal to 3 is our solution. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe. Bye-bye till next video. Bye-bye.